Okay, this is dumb. I came out for light skate to do a little recon for a future idea, and I should have known that considering something close at hand could be tempting. Yes, I should have worn pads. And a helmet. Regardless, an off-road hill roll it is. Instead of just rolling onto the road here, I try a little jump. Go off balance and slide on my leg for a moment. I've slowed it down and managed to catch the point of shin contact for a moment. Nice. Grind. I enjoyed that. Here I am before the road burn on the pavement of my favorite testing track. Despite my recent resolve not to downhill without a helmet ever, I decide to time my lap today and use it through the summer as a where was I marker. This first stretch is a very slight incline, but once I'm around the bend, it's smooth and steep enough for all the speed I want. It's like the Great Salt Lake for skates. Here we are again, probably not the best judgment call, carrying speed into this corner. What the hell is wrong with me today? One slip. Get home at me. This stretch is a good spot to recover before the stairs back up to the top of the hill. So I guess my favorite padding is hockey shin pads, yeah. I like those. Followed by a helmet. When I don't pad up, it's not in an effort to stay looking cool or because my hair is too majestic not to be seen. But rather it's about how I want to feel when I skate. When I'm planning a heavy shit-kicking session, I pad up with a helmet, padded shorts, elbow pads, shin pads, and even listen to metal or hardcore techno on the headphones. When I want to chill and savor the flow, I dress to keep it light. I enjoy slipping through the breeze with complete freedom of movement, but I don't really trust myself anymore. When oxygen leaves the brain and the legs take over, shit goes down. While I was reminded today that the skin pads are way less efficient than the shin pads, at least I didn't rip another pair of jeans. Two week old jeans and I look like a hobo. Sorry, is that politically incorrect? I meant a bum. A bum with ripped jeans and a drugged up dog. Here's how that grass section was supposed to go. I'm taking this from a respectful angle. My reduced speed helps when I have to resort to running too. Running. Again. That's weird. There we are with the same little kind of slip as last time. Need to rein in the carves. When this grass dries out a bit more, who knows? Maybe I'll come back with some bigger wheels and see if I can get a lot more from this rather radical landscape. I hope you are breaking new ground in your skating every week. I know I don't really have the right to say this, but don't be a billy and pad up if you're going to rip it up. Live to skate another day and sleep another night. Until next time. Roll heavy and stay low. Stay low, low.